Thanks, Ma. The food looks really delicious. But tell me, Papa, why is it that Ma always serves us this delicious soup in such a small bowl? Raj, isn't the buttermilk also in one and the dal as well? But why do they all have to be in small bowls? <laughs> Raj, if you like the soup so much, we could give you a bigger bowl. But the reason that Ma puts it in a small bowl is to prevent it from spreading through your plate and making it messy. While eating, you can pick up a piece of bakri or chapati and put it in your mouth. But we cannot pick up things like soup, buttermilk and dal in the same way. Look at this piece of chapati. It has a definite shape. It will maintain its shape even if it is placed in the plate. Like this papad and this bhakri. Yes, Ria. They will not mix with the other food in your plate. There are many substances in our surroundings which keep their own shape no matter where they are placed. What are these substances called? Substances that maintain their shape all the time are said to be solid substances. Solid is a state of a substance. Raj, can you describe this candle? It is a big candle. It looks like a long stick. Rhea, what about that plate? The plate is wide and flat. Now children, if I take these two objects and place them in many different positions, will the shape of any of them change? No, Papa. The candle will not change its shape. The shape of the plate will also remain the same. Both the plate and the candle are solid substances. Solid substances will not change their shape even if their position is... Can you find some more objects around you that maintain their shape all the time? Stones and bricks. Paper, chalk. The stones, chalks, pieces of brick or paper are all solid substances. Solids stay as you keep them. They can be placed in a heap. Now children, Look at this glass jar. I have filled it partly with water. Observe the shape as I tilt it slightly and then a little more. What has happened to the shape of the water? Has it remained the same or has it changed? It has changed. When a glass jar is partially filled with water, and then tilt it. The shape of the water changes. I will now pour some water into this dish. Look, it has changed its shape again. Yes, Papa. It has taken the shape of the dish. Water is a liquid. Liquid is a state of a substance. Can you name some things? that can change their shape? The soup and the buttermilk. Very good, Raj. Kerosene, sharbat are also liquid substances. Oops! Papa, I was seeing how water changes its shape and I by mistake dropped some of it 
on the table. Look how it spreads. That's okay, Ria. All liquid substances spread on a flat surface. They flow down a slope. Liquids do not have a definite shape. And they cannot be placed in a heap. Look what Moti has done to this ball. Now we can't play with it. That's right. Has he bitten it or just taken out all the air from it? Just taken out the air, Papa. Don't worry. We can ask the balloon seller to fill it for us. Papa, he's at the gate. Yes, I saw him. He has an air pump with him. Let us ask him if he will fill up this ball for us. Ria, he has balloons of different shapes with him. Yes, one like a cucumber, one like a monkey, one like a bird, one even like a man. Papa, how do you think he gets all these different shapes? He is filling air into the balloons. Air has no definite shape. Air takes the shape of the balloon into which it is filled. Air takes the shape of its container. That is why the ball will become round again after air is pumped into it. Papa, the air from one of my bicycle tube has escaped. Shall we ask him to fill it up for us? I am sure he will. Give him the bicycle tube. Papa, I can feel the air rushing out from the ball. Ria, can you catch the air in your hands? No, Papa. Where did the air go? Look how the ball is changing its shape. Air is a gas. Gas is also a state of matter. Gases do not collect in one place. They spread upwards, downwards on all sides. That is why you cannot catch air. Air, hydrogen, oxygen and cooking gas are gases or gaseous substances. Cooking gas? Yes. Have you seen the gas cylinders in our kitchen? They contain cooking gas that we connect to our cooking ranges and use to cook our food. Gases do not have a definite shape and they take the shape of the container. And they cannot be placed in a heap. Right rear. Solid, liquid and gas are the three states of substances. Papa, you keep saying state. What does state mean? State means the condition or form in which something is present. Rhea, now can you name some solids? Yes, Papa. A pencil Eraser, chalk are all solids. What about liquids, Raj? Milk, ink, honey, mango pulp and water are liquids. And gases? Air and steam are gases. Yes. And biogas, oxygen and hydrogen are all gases. What is biogas, Papa? Biogas is a gas obtained from waste material like fallen leaves, animal dung, etc. Now children, 
Let me see if you have really understood the three states of matter. The string of this necklace snapped and the beads all rolled away. From this, can you tell whether the beads are solid or liquid? The beads are solid, Papa. How do you know, Rhea? They have a definite shape, Papa. Correct. Now, look at this picture, Raj. Which gas do you think is in the cylinder on the man's back? Is it oxygen, Papa? Excellent, Raj. How did you guess that? Because the man needs oxygen to breathe. Now, Raj and Rhea, would you be able to tell me the differences between solid substances and liquid substances? That's simple, Papa. Substances that maintain their shape all the time are solid substances. Substances that change their shape every time are liquid substances. Solid substances stay as we keep them. They do not change their shape. Liquid substances change their shape. They spread on a flat surface and flow down a slope. Solid substances can be placed in a heap. Liquid substances cannot be placed in a heap. What about the similarities between liquids and gases? Both liquids and gases change their shape. They take the shape of the container they are put into. Both liquids and gases cannot be heaped. Gases spread everywhere. Liquids spread on flat surfaces or slopes. Very good children. I think you have really understood the three states of substances. Can you group the things in the list given below as solids, liquids and gases? Pencil Solid Milk Liquid Ink Liquid Honey Liquid Eraser Solid Air Gas Sand Solid Flour Solid Steam Gas Mango pulp Liquid Biogas Gas Oxygen Gas Hydrogen Gas Can you fill in the blanks? Liquid substances dash a definite shape. Do not have Substances that keep their own shape at all times are in the dash state. Solid Air and steam are in the dash state. Gaseous Kerosene is a dash Liquid Liquids flow down a dash Slope Gases spread in all dash Directions
Can you rewrite the statements correctly? The ink in a pen is a solid substance. The ink in a pen is a liquid substance. A goa is in the liquid state. A goa is in the solid state. Steam is in the solid state. Steam is in the gaseous state. Liquids can be placed in a heap. Solids can be placed in a heap.